Welcome back. So this part of uh, the lesson is going to be actually how to use Python. We can use Python in many different ways, but today, or I mean, in this uh, part, I will show you uh, using the command prompt. You can just select it here, or maybe you can write CMD over here, and then you can open the command prompt. Yeah, maybe some people, or another way to open, you can all click over here. I think you can open the command prompt. Where is my command prompt? Oh, it's only the git bash. Uh, maybe I think some of you should have, but since I have git, I think the git bash is something I should see is the git bash. Uh, this is also the same, but you may not have git. So let's just go to CMD and open the command prompt. This command prompt allow us to write commands. Yeah, it's the window version uh, for, so, but I think some of you might know, but you don't have to also know how to use this, the command prompt. What you should know, know is just opening the command prompt. So now this Python is when I'm writing Python, actually it's like a command or to open the Python that we installed a while ago. Now I can see that Python 3.10.0 has been actually installed and it's the latest version that, that has been released in, on October 4, uh, 2021, as you can see here. And then like, for instance, if we want to work on Python or if we want to ask Python to do some mathematics for us, let's ask Python to add two numbers. So one and two, what do you think the result will be? Hmm? No, no. It should be three. Yes. And how about if we ask also Python to subtract numbers two minus one, and everybody expected that one, and that's what I expect too. How about if we ask Python also to multiply numbers? As you can see now, we use the plus sign for addition, this the minus sign for subtraction, this the star or the asterisk for multiplication, okay? It's a bit different. And the reason why I'm using also space, it's for readability for purpose. It's so easy to read, right? I can just do this one plus two and it just give me the same thing, no difference. One plus two, but this looks good for the eyes, right? It's, it's well spaced and it's so nice. And um, as I showed you three times two, it should be six or two times uh, three, six, right? It's just commutative property, right? You can change the place and you should get the same value for addition and the multiplication is the same. How about if I want to divide numbers? If I divide three by two, I think you will expect mm, 1.5. And uh, how about sometimes like multiplying numbers three by three is nine, right? How about again by three, 27 again by three, uh, I think it's going to be 81. Uh, no, no, no. Three by three, nine and by three, 27. And then by three, it's going to be 81, yeah. So sometimes writing this is tedious and long. Then how about if you want to write two times two times two times two times. If you do this 10 times or maybe 20 times, it's tiring, right? So we have a shortcut actually this. So this means for instance, to the power of five. So whenever we use this two star, means actually we are multiplying two five times. So I'm expecting, maybe I think first I have to show you this. To the power of three, you are expecting eight. So it should be eight. To the power of four, and this is 16. To the power of 
pi and 32 to the power of 10 actually gives you 1034. I think by now, so three to the power of four, this give us 81. Yeah. Now let's do modulus. Sometimes we want to know the remainder of something. For instance, when we divide three divided by two, now this the percent sign is not acting like a division because we have division this sign, but we call this symbol modulus and it gave us the remainder when we divide uh, two numbers. What's the remainder when we divide three by two? Yeah, please. What's the remainder when you divide three by two? Five. 1.5, it should be, shouldn't be. But the remainder, the remainder. Five. One, you mean one? One. Yeah, the remainder is one. As you can see. Uh, how about five divided by? Three, what's the remainder? Two. Yes, great. And nine divided by five, what's the remainder? Four. Four, great. Four, yeah. um, 11 divided by six, what's the remainder? Again, four. Yes, four. Um, nine divided by three, what's the remainder? Zero. Zero, because there's nothing, so it's zero. Great, now you got how to calculate remainder. It's very important. For instance, to know if a number is divisible or not, if you divide something, for is by two and if the remainder is zero that means it's divisible by two right is is nine divisible by two no because the remainder is one okay now let me try by two ten divided by two let's see the remainder the remainder is zero so that means it's divisible. So we can check divisibility of something. For instance, 39 divisible by third, I mean, divided by three. If I get a zero, then I will decide that this uh, 39 is divisible by 13. Yeah, great. So you will use it like to check some uh, divisibility or some condition, it's very important. Now let's talk about floor division. Sometimes we don't care about the remainder, but we just want to know how many times it can be divided. Okay, if I want to say three divided by two, and that without the remainder, what will be the value? So I can use this two, symbols to get the quotient. We call it the quotient, but we don't care the remainder. One. One, great. Nine divisible by four, what would be the value? Two. Yeah, two. And the, rem yeah, two. And, uh, seven floor division uh, two. Three. three. Three, yeah. Now guys, you manage to learn the arithmetic operation. You have learned how to add numbers. It's so easy, right? You learned how to subtract numbers. You learned how to multiply numbers and you learned how to divide numbers, and you learned exponential 
power, the base and the power, to the power of three, eight to the power of four, 16 to the power of five, 32 and to the power of 10, uh, 1024. And uh, uh, we have, then we learned modulus, how to calculate the remainder if we divide three by two, actually the remainder will be one. If we divide five by three, uh, the remainder will be two. And if we divide nine by five, and the remainder uh, will be four, and then 10 by six, four. So yeah, that's what we learned. Again, we have learned here, actually, the floor division. The floor division means we just only uh, care how many times can be divided. We don't care about the remainders. 3 divided by 2, 1 times. 9 by 4, 2 times, the remainder will be 1. 7 by 2, 3 times, and the remainder will be 1. But we don't care for the remainder this time. Now, maybe the last example, 8 uh, divisible by, I mean, divided by uh, 5. What would be the floor division for this? 1. 1. Great. Guys, you have uh, completed the art matrix and you learn also how to use the Python interactive shell. We call this Python interactive shell whenever we want to do some uh, a Python script. Uh, this is how we write. And we can leave also from this uh, by just closing over here, just to make, uh, just to, uh, Make yourself familiar, just you come here, CMD, and then you can write like Python or just py is enough to open. And we call this the Python interactive shell. We don't write uh, code all the time here. We use other code editors, but sometimes, you know, we come to here and taste uh, some, some, uh, some calculations or some code we write, just simple codes here, just for testing purpose. Uh, we don't really write code over here, but sometimes we just came over here and check if uh, what we told is right. So we use it for testing purpose and uh, not for writing an application. Great, so this is how, uh, a Python interactive shell looks like. Some of you might be using this. I, I may, uh, by just opening this, it's okay. But for some reason, I prefer to open this, the command prompt, yeah? The command prompt uh, for me uh, to open. Uh, by the way, if you write just P, it also open for you and exit, and you have to invoke it to get out from that. If you really want to just know only the version Python version, I uh, will give you this Python version, and then it gives. But if you want to open the interactive shell, just Python, and then you see. Or you can just write py also allows you just to open it. and then just let's get out from that and let me just leave also from this the command prompt and now I closed the command prompt no problem with the command prompt you can also just close it like this okay great.